it's time to receive a blessing through song and a ministry of God's Word as we present Good News with Sister Sarah Kelly. Hello and welcome to the Good News cast, telecast. We're glad that you have joined us tonight by way of Channel 16 or the Internet. And we welcome you to join right in with us in the worship of uh, of the songs and the prayers and in the preaching of God's Word. And we want to just let loose and let God have His precious way in the service tonight. And we, we do appreciate each and every one of you that have joined us, and we pray that you'll be blessed. Um, and I want to thank all of our faithful supporters uh, for all that they do to keep the good news on the air. If it were not for them, we could not be here and we just thank God for each and every one of them. We have such loyal people that stand with us, and we thank God for each and every one of you. Um, and also I'd like to say thanks to all of those that uh, write to us or call us um, uh, every month, and, and a lot of people uh, uh, call. Uh, I, I get new people uh, just about every week uh, that's calling for prayer. And we are glad to pray for your request. And we um, just ask you to, uh, if you have a, somebody that's sick or if you're sick and you need prayer, you call us. And I may not be able to uh, call you back if you leave it on my answering machine. Uh, uh, sometimes I stay so busy that I, I just don't have the time to uh, uh, stay on the phone all the time and because uh, I have to work to do and have to take care of my uh, good little husband Joe, and um, and so uh, I stay busy, and then the church work too. There's a lot of things that I have to do, um, but we uh, do appreciate you calling. So uh, if you leave a request, you can be assured we will be praying for you. And now I want to introduce those that are with us. Um, we have uh, Brother Joe with us, my husband, Brother Joe Kelly, and we're glad that he's able to be here today. And Brother Maurice Kelly, uh, my son, uh, he'll be singing with us and we'll be preaching on this program tonight. And also Brother Tim uh, Campbell is over here on the base and we thank the Lord that he's with us today. Sorry that Sister Ashley is not here, but she's in BTI, uh, Bible Training Institute in Tennessee at this time. And uh, she will be back with us, Lord willing, next time we come and take. I know everybody's going to miss her. So at this time, we want to take the prayer request of the Lord. We've had a lot of requests, and uh, we've prayed for a lot of people um, over the phone. And, and when we got off of the phone, we would pray. And we just thank God that he is hearing and answering prayer. And we give him all the praise and glory for what's been done. And... We want to pray at this time and take these prayer requests to the Lord and ask Him for the answers. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we come to you, Master, we thank you, Lord, for this privilege to call upon your name. We're so glad, Lord, to know, Lord, that you are a prayer answering God. And, and Lord, we thank you for every prayer that you have answered. We thank you, Lord, for good news that comes in. Lord, that uh, some have been touched um, uh, by the power of God and are doing much better. We give you praise and glory and honor. And, Lord, we pray that you would just continue, Lord, to minister to each and every one, Lord. For, Lord, um, uh, we know that there is many that are really sick and really need prayer. And we pray that you would touch each and every one of them with your divine power, Lord. We're glad, Lord, that you've already paid for our healing, and we can claim it in Jesus' name. And we do claim healing for heal these, these that need healing tonight. And, Lord, we pray that you would just be with us, um, uh, Lord, through this, these programs. We pray that you would bless this uh, program tonight. I pray that you would anoint it with your mighty spirit and your power. Have your way in everything that's said and done, Lord. And we'll thank you and praise you for what you do. And, Lord, we ask you to save those that are lost tonight, Lord. And we pray that you would uh, touch their hearts, Lord, with Holy Ghost conviction. And that they would be many that will pray through, Lord, uh, 
and to old time salvation. Uh, and, Lord, we pray that you would bless us, strengthen our bodies, Lord, tonight, God. We all need your help, Lord, and we want you just to touch us uh, uh, with your mighty spirit and power and have your way in our hearts and our lives and anoint everything that we say and do. And we'll be comforted to give you praise, glory, and honor for what you do. For we ask it all in the precious and holy name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now for our first song, we're going to sing an old song out of the book. A lot of people tell me, they'll write me and they'll say, I really do enjoy the old songs out of the book. And we do too. And so we're going to be singing one now. Uh, it's entitled, Jesus, Hold My Hand. I want him to hold my hand, don't you? Praise the Lord. hold our hand and I'm sure he will praise God we're going to sing a, a song now entitled I'll dare to be different and the child, child of God today needs to, to um, remember these words that we, we dare to be different in the world that we're living in Anyway, but God has told 
against us. All right, at this time, Brother Tim's coming, and he's going to sing a song that uh, we have a lot of requests for. Uh, and Brother Tim sings this song, God on the Mountain. <laughs> to the pulpit for Brother Maurice ready to bring our message. Praise the Lord. Appreciate another opportunity to be back on the good news tonight. <clears throat> I pray that you've enjoyed the music and the singing. Pray God has richly blessed you and he'll continue to bless you to the end of the program tonight. If you'd like to uh, contact my mother, write her uh, a letter uh, of thank you or, or prayer request or donation or, or how you like the program, whatever you like to send, you can contact my mother at Good News Post Office Box 664, Pendleton, South Carolina, 29670, or send some stamps. I know she says a lot of times people, send stamps and I know she very appreciates that uh, because you know stamps are not cheap and she mails out a lot of letters to people that do write uh, to the good news and also if you'd like to contact her you can contact her at 864-646-3331 and we give you a big invitation to come join us at the Church of God on 235 East Blue Ridge Street in Pendleton, South Carolina. Uh, our services are Sunday morning at 10 and Sunday night at 6. And come expecting a blessing from God. Uh, God has never failed us. God has never let us down. Uh, he, he said in his word he wouldn't. He would be with us. He would stick with us closer down a brother. And if we uh, walk in them old paths, if we stay in that healing, cleansing stream of sanctification, God will be with us. God will secure us. He will keep his arms wrapped around us and keep us safe from all harm. That's the God that we serve today. The God that we serve will take us on into heaven when this life is over, one way or the other. If we go by the grave or go by the rapture, if we're in the grave, we're going to be caught up, uh, be the first ones up out of the ground to, be, uh, to go meet the Lord and those that are alive and remain on the earth shall meet those dead uh, that has died in Christ. 
uh, in the air to be forever with the Lord. That's going to be a homecoming, isn't it? Praise God. We have homecomings at our churches and uh, maybe with our uh, uh, family get-togethers. There's gonna be, this is going to be a homecoming like they've never been before. Oh, praise God. It'll be the final one, too. And I don't want to want to miss the boat, do you? I don't want to miss the ship or the airplane, whatever it is. I want, I want to be able to lose gravitational pull. When the Lord says, come up hither and come home to be with him, I want to be ready to make that trip, that one-way trip, don't you? Praise. We'd like to go to the Lord in prayer tonight. Uh, just ask the Lord to bless us when you pray. Remember me. The Lord uh, to uh, help me be able to uh, preach on this program now the anointing of the Holy Ghost. For without God, I can't do anything, but I can do all things through Him which strengthens me. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we come before you this night. Thank you, Lord, for another opportunity of prayer. Thank you, Lord, again. This is your servant, Maurice, God, today, asking you for your help once again, Lord, today. It's me, God, once again. I'm crying out to you, Lord, tonight like old Habakkuk did during his time. Lord, he's he seen the ruin of his people coming. And God, he was seeking the Lord with all that he had, that their lives and his as well might be spared. And God, I see the destruction of this world in America today. It's on the horizon. We need to pray, God. We need to seek God today. Uh, the devil's trying to destroy everybody that he can today. But God, we need to be a praying, God-seeking people today. Lord, help us today. Help us stand in the gap and make up the hedge, Lord, today. And God, we'll praise you and love you and thank you, Lord, for all that you do for us. For us in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you'd like to turn back in your Bibles, I'll be in Habakkuk again. Uh, continuing on in uh, chapter 1, uh, starting with um, verse 10. The Bible says, And they shall scoff at the kings, and the princes shall be a scorn unto them. Or they shall make fun at the kings, in other words. They shall deride every stronghold, for they shall heap dust and take it. We see that happening in our world today, scoffing at the, our, our president, you know, making fun of uh, him and things, his family, and different things. You know, we, we need to come together as a people, as a nation, and we need to try to work together to, to save America today. America's in trouble. She's in trouble, and she, uh, she needs revival today. She needs the Lord today. And, and God, I believe with all my heart, God has given America another chance. It might be the last chance that we have to turn back to God. And we missed the mark this time. He said, all nations that forget God shall be cast into hell. We need to remember the Lord and his goodness, his mercy and his grace today. It's the only way, reason we breathe air in our lungs today. It's the only reason we have a job today, a, a home to stay in and a car to drive a, and a family to take care of is the mercies of God, the tender loving mercies of God. And God loves us today. We stood behind Israel. We backed her for all these years. And God has honored America because she was faithful to his chosen people. But God help us today to never turn our backs on Israel. For if we do, we can expect the wrath of God to come on America. God help us this day. It said, Then shall, he cha shall his mind change, and he shall pass over and offend, and put in this power unto his God. In other words, this bondage that they were in from the Chaldeans was not going to last forever. Are thou not from everlasting, O Lord my God, my Holy One? We shall not die, O Lord. Thou hast ordained them for judgment, and Almighty God, thou hast established them for correction. Oh, oh Habakkuk was reminding God, God, you're a holy God, and Lord, how can you listen and see and let all this violence and spoil and sin uh, go in the land unnoticed. Uh, but I'm here to tell you, uh, God was keeping a record. Uh, oh, God knew exactly what was going on. Uh, and God was going to right this situation. Uh, 
but he would separate the sheep from the goat, so to speak. Maybe that's what God is doing in America today. He said, Thou art of pure eyes than to behold evil, and canst not look on iniquity. Wherefore lookest upon them that deal treacherously, and holdeth thy tongue when the wicked devour the man that is more righteous than he? We see Christians being killed in our world today because of their faith in God. We wonder, you know, God, how long are you going to allow this to happen, God? But we may have to all give our lives before Christ before it's over with. We got to keep the faith, don't we? We got to keep marching on for the Lord. We got to stand in the gap and make up the heads for God. Oh, praise God, because we don't who will. If we don't who will, the devil will take over. But praise God, it's wrote in the book. We on the winning side today. I'm back in you. If I keep praying, if I keep seeking the Lord with all my heart, we're on the winning side. Hallelujah. Things may look dim, but they're going to brighten up when Jesus comes. And make us men as fishes of the sea as the creeping things that have no ruler over them. They take up all them with the angle. They catch them in their net and gather them in their drag. Therefore, they rejoice and are glad. They, therefore, they sacrifice unto their net and burn incense unto their drag. Because by them their portion is fat and their meat plenteous. Shall they therefore empty their net, net and not spare continually to slay the nation? It's sort of like today, the big fish, like in the ocean, the big fish eat up the small fish. The old common uh, poor man today is being eaten up by the rich. They're devouring, trying to devour us today. But praise God, we on the winning side. And the Bible says it's going to rich men is going to weep in hell. They're going to throw their silver and their gold out in the street for the misery that's come upon them. Uh, praise God, they can take everything they have from us, or we have uh, from us, but they can't take God. Uh, they can't take the Lord from us. Uh, it's not bought with money. Salvation is not bought with money. Uh, it's bought with a price of blood. Uh, uh, Jesus purchased our uh, salvation uh, on the cross and carry that we can have life uh, and have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. A little old back and said, I know what I'll do in chapter 2 and I got to hurry. Our time is getting away. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. You see, he realized he had to get up above the world. He had to get above the sin and the thing, ungodliness that were going on in the world that he could listen to God. He could stand in the hedge and make up the gap for the children of God and himself. And God, praise God, if we'll wait on the Lord, he'll renew our strength. Hallelujah. In verse 2, he said, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon the tables that he may run that readeth it. He said, make it big enough that people can understand the words and see the words plainly. And run this race we're running in today. That's what I'm here doing today. I'm trying to make that vision clear to you. The Bible said without a vision, uh, the people perish. We got to keep that vision of God afresh in our hearts or we'll be led astray and lost in this life. And hell will become our home. For the vision is yet for a appointed time, but at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Oh, we will renew our strength if we wait on God. God's coming, children. Just have a little patience and wait on the Lord. He will renew our strength because it will surely come and it will not tarry. We can't slow down or speed up the coming of the Lord, but we know we see that day approaching and God is about to come and take his children home. Let's hold on just a little while longer. Praise God. Jesus is coming ready or not. Praise God. God bless you is my prayer. Come back and be with us next Saturday night if you can. If you don't know Jesus, pray and invite him into your heart tonight. Find salvation and rest for your soul today. He will give you joy that's unspeakable and full of glory. God bless you in my prayer. Praise the Lord.
Baik.